Hello folks. So in the previous videos, I covered how to upload a file which is uh, available on my local system to uh, uh, the Azure SD Insight cluster, which is a Hadoop cluster. So kind of copying this file from local system to uh, Hadoop local and then from Hadoop local to uh, Hadoop distributed file system. So that's what we did pretty much did in the last video. In this video, I'm going to create uh, my uh, Azure SQL Server. Uh, so basically, I'll be using uh, uh, Azure SQL database to create a database as well as a table. So the intent is to uh, first of all uh, copy the data uh, from local system to uh, copy the data file from local system to Hadoop, which we did in previous uh, video. And then once that is copied to Hadoop distributed file system, I will be utilizing a Hive to basically create a table and utilize the data which is in CSV file, form, file format on HDFS to kind of uh, insert the data in HD, uh, Hive, uh, Hive uh, database file uh, or table, uh, database table. Okay, so once that is, uh, once the data is uh, loaded from CSV file to Hive table, then I will be using uh, Scoop to basically export that data from Hive table to uh, Azure uh, SQL database. Okay, so that's the entire pipeline. And uh, so we need to have that Azure database, uh, uh, SQL database in place first. So that is what I'm going to cover in this video. So when it comes to uh, Azure uh, SQL database, uh, it is kind of a dis database as a service uh, on uh, provided by Azure, okay? So we, we can utilize it uh, for any of our relational database uh, activities or any other requirements. Okay, so we can create any database as well as tables uh, using Azure database, SQL database. Uh, one of the prerequisites for uh, this video is uh, in order to basically create tables is to basically download a SQL Server Management Studio, okay, uh, which is this particular tool. And you can uh, basically download it from this particular uh, URL. Okay, so I will be providing the link of this URL in the uh, description of this video. Okay, and la then later on, we will be creating this particular table, customer table. Okay, uh, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's create uh, Azure SQL database. Okay, so click on create a resource. And then here you can see SQL database. So click on SQL database. So you here you can provide any database name. So let us say I can provide a tutorial DB is the database name. Okay. Uh, resource group, I can use existing one maybe. So I have this existing resource group. I can use this one. Uh, select source, I can keep the data a uh, blank database right now. Okay, and for server configuration details, create a new server. Okay, so I don't have any existing server, so I will be creating a new server. So once that server is created, we can keep, uh, you know, our databases on that server. One of the things which we need to keep in mind is that, uh, you know, there there is always a firewall uh, associated with uh, the servers uh, which we are going to create. So if we want to enable uh, outside uh, applications or tool to access our database which is present on the server or available on the server, then we have to uh, you know create some firewall rules. And that is something which I'm going to cover as well. So you need to basically create a firewall rule to provide access to either uh, a particular IP range or any particular computer, okay? Or so that depends upon your requirements. As a matter of fact, uh, you can uh, provide uh, access to IP range and as well as uh, to a particular computer as well, okay? So let's create this server. And I will be noting down the database name server names here for the sake of keeping uh, so that I can remember it. So what was the database name? It was tutorial db and the 
server name I am going to keep as uh, tutorial server. Okay, so it is saying the spell is already in use, so I will say NK tutorial server. Okay, let me copy paste it. So this is my server. Okay, and admin login server admin login so let me provide the username as well here <coughs> excuse me so tutorial nk admin this will be the server admin id sorry server user id okay and the password we are going to create the password as well okay so we created the password as well and we don't need any advanced data security so no you can select not now which is the default option so select it so then uh, uh what we are going to do is server is in east us2 and it is asking want to use sql elastic pool i don't want to use it not now so that, that's why i've selected it uh, in fact it, it it was a default option so you need not to select as well because it will comes by default but if in case you want to use sql elastic pool then you can click on yes uh, when it comes to pricing tier uh, you can basically select any pricing tier uh, according to your need so in this case i'm just going to choose basic one okay so it will change the maximum data size accordingly to 2 GB okay because I don't have that much requirement right now so I, uh, that's why I've selected basic but you can select standard or premium if you have more advanced needs okay so click on apply and then once it, uh, click on app uh, once you click on apply it will select that option collation you can uh, keep the uh, default okay so let's create on uh, click on create okay so it will take a while to create uh, this uh, uh, server okay so you can see the message deployment in progress so we'll come back once uh, the server is deployed okay okay folks so looks like uh, our uh, uh, azure sql database server is up now so we can go to resources okay and there you can see the uh, server dashboard okay so here you will find all the details fine so you can see uh, there is a url associated with your server so you can copy this url which because it will be required uh, later on okay basically that was my old uh, server so let me go to my new server okay so this is my server okay which we created just now the previous one uh, actually which i copied it was uh, the old one so we may not requ not require that so you can see uh, all the details are matching so name of the server was tutorial db so tutorial db and then uh, the server nk database.windows.net so let's copy this okay and okay so now you will see that uh, the tutorial sql db database right uh, one thing which we want to do is um Uh, one thing which we need to do is as i told you earlier so we need to set up a firewall rule here because 
uh, this server uh, by default uh, the uh, you cannot access any database on this particular present or available on this server uh, without opening a port or uh, you know without enabling the firewall so when it comes to port uh, the port associated with uh, this uh, azure sql database is 1433 and if you are inside your virtual private network uh, uh, associated with the organization your administrator needs to open that port 1433 then only you will be able to access this database so let's uh, uh, enable this firewall or create a firewall rule for our database so let me tell you once again so you can click on set firewall server firewall once you click on it you just click click on add client ip okay so a client ip address will be added here okay click on save okay and then you can see the message successfully updated firewall rule come back again here okay and now what we will do is we will open the uh, sql server management studio okay so we will provide the server name here first which is this one okay and then we will provide the login id which is this one and then your password which you created during this server creation okay once you provide these details click on connect perfect so you can see your server details here now in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. As I told you, uh, you can download this management SQL Server Management Studio from this particular link, which I will be providing in my description of the video. Okay, so once that is done, what we can do is we can click on databases and you will be able to see your database. So you can see your database here, tutorial DB, right? Click on plus sign and you will be able to see uh, the various details here so storage security views tables external resources we are more of interested in table section because we want to create a new table right so let's click on it you can see there are uh, system default tables right so let's click on tutorial db and right click on it and select new query option so once you select that new query option you will be provided the space to execute any queries or commands okay so let's execute this command so if you see uh, uh, these field values the attributes are in alignment with the file which was customer data file csv file so uh, the customer csv file which we uh, uploaded from local system to hadoop distributed file system it had uh, five columns pretty much in alignment with these okay so that's why um, you know i just wanted to keep the uh, attribute name or uh, number of attributes same as the present uh, available in csv file so they were there are five five uh, columns in the csv file and i am creating the uh, table here in sql server uh, with respect to that csv file only so you will be uh, uh, able to see the columns because uh, i will be uploading that uh, csv file as well on my github link so github details also i, I will provide in my description section so you can see that so uh, you you will see uh, when you click on uh, that csv file you will be able to see that there are only five columns which are in pretty much alignment with these columns okay okay so let's copy paste to this all right once you copy paste this click on execute okay you can see the message commands completed successfully once you refresh here okay you will be able to see the new table created here
so you can see the customer table uh, so th this is a query which we did or which we provided to create a table and the table name was customer so you can see the table created here okay so in the next upcoming videos uh, as i told you uh, we will be uh, exporting the data from hive table to this this particular table customer using a scoop okay so we'll be exporting the data using a scoop from hive table to this table which is azure sql database table okay so guys this is it for this video uh, i will be covering uh, next topics in the upcoming videos so keep on watching and if you like this video uh, please hit like button uh, and subscribe as well for our with for our channel uh, thank you so much